Okay, so actually I didn't choose a career in the pharmaceutical sciences. Uh, my family owned a drug company. They, we made the first hypoallergenic dermatologicals on the market. And I was supposed to go to pharmacy school, come home and run the company, and I didn't want to do that at all. I wanted to be an English major and to become a professor in English. And so my first undergraduate degree is in English. And uh, I had the good fortune of a very famous poet who was then an assistant professor, give me, uh, became poet laureate, Donald Hall of the United States, gave me, uh, after I graduated and applied to graduate school in English and was accepted at a few places, looked at my portfolio and told me that I was really a good student, I'd be a great teacher, but I would never be a poet. And uh, I actually knew that, I needed him to tell me. And so I went back, did pharmaceutical sciences, and uh, didn't want to go and take over the company, and stayed, became an academic pharmaceutical scientist. So in the mid-80s, um, I was president of the Academy of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and I felt that it was really important for pharmacy and the pharmaceutical sciences that the pharmaceutical sciences be allowed to shine and reflect positively on the profession. Because the pharmaceutical science profession, the pharmaceutical science organization was part of the American Pharmaceutical Association. Uh, my goal was not to create a separate organization, but my goal was to increase the influence of pharmaceutical sciences and to uh, make them have a big impact in public policy, uh, both at the government level and uh, through the FDA, and at the industry level, and that people needed to represent the pharmaceutical sciences. Well, it didn't work out. And what did work out was the formation of an independent society that I knew from day one would be successful, and many other people knew that, but uh, uh, there were lots who didn't think that that was true, but uh, I had no doubt it would be true. We ended that first year with over 2,000 members and have gone on since then. Okay, so I'm, I'm a professor, I'm not retired. Yeah. I'm a full active pharmaceutical scientist, academic, still teach in the program at the undergraduate or PharmD level and at the graduate level. I pursue things that are of interest to me. Uh, what I'm primarily interested in is clinical situations that I can't understand. Uh, why could this be happening and w what's the rationale for it? And, I go in and run experiments at all kinds of levels, both at the molecular, animal. I do human studies. In fact, I do the most human studies at UCSF. So what I want to do is understand what I, what I can't explain. And uh, I will pursue lots of different areas and uh, have the opportunity to do that. And then that translates over into being able to train lots of students and lots of postdoctoral fellows who can go out and influence the world and solve all our problems. Well, um, actually, APS is achieving my hopes. Uh, I had a set of goals of what APS should be written out. Uh, we're very close to those goals what, uh, that I wanted it to us to achieve. We do have an impact. We have a significant impact in drug development, drug discovery, and the regulatory process uh, throughout the world, not only in the U.S., um, and we make significant discoveries and it's a wonderful time to be a pharmaceutical scientist. So our influence has never been higher. Uh, we're solving problems that are significant uh, in getting that gap of bringing a drug actually to get it approved in humans. And so I think APS is serving what my dream was in the beginning. And, uh, I still want us to do better. I always want us to do better and to have more influence and to have uh, a bigger impact, but we continue to do that. So I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Les Bennett. I'm uh, the first president of AAPS and among one of the 30 founders of the organization. Uh, I've served in many capacities uh, for the organization and have won many of its awards and very proud. I was the first pharmaceutical, distinguished pharmaceutical scientist. At this meeting, I won the outstanding manuscript in AAPS journal. Uh, I continue to function 
and basically I am a pharmaceutical scientist and an AAPS member.